Okay, uh, Neil, you're new. Going up to uh, Metro Fitness and stop putting it. Stop putting it. Stop putting it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with Matthew Hatton and Adam Hague. Yeah. Adam. Yeah. All right. Yes. How are you doing, you two? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Adam, Adam, you're fighting on uh, December the 12th yeah, down at Blackpool? a week Saturday at Winter Gardens. Your fifth pro fight? Fifth fight is it six months, Matt. Yeah, fifth fight in six months, yeah. so keeping him nice and, yeah. uh, nice and busy and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, a good performance next Saturday and he can have a bit of time off and uh, enjoy, enjoy Christmas. Christmas, yeah. yeah. Enjoy Jolly Boys, yeah, Jolly Boys. Nah, I'm not going to that, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you might do if you win, then. Yeah. Do we know who you're fighting yet? Fighting, no, the opponent's not been uh, been confirmed yet, so just waiting to, to, to hear in the next couple of days. Yeah, but uh, we were talking before, and uh, I looked on your box record, and obviously you're four and zero, yeah. and uh, your first fight was a bit of a, yeah, a surprise unbeat. fight. You, you don't expect uh, a guy on his debut to fight a guy who's had three fights and won them all. I know, yeah, it was a, it was a good win, probably the best win I've had actually. Mm -hmm. good, well, he's not night. been beat since either. He's gone on and he's had two more yeah. wins since you fought him. Well, he said he wants a rematch, but don't know if he wants it yet. Well, it's one for, for further down the line, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it, it come about, um, Adam was due to make his debut two weeks earlier. Mm -hmm. um, that fight fell through because the opponent on the day um, pulled out and the opponent they come up was, was, was far too heavy for Adam. So he had the disappointment there. Um, so I was looking to get him uh, another fight. Um, funny, funny story. It was just on, on on Twitter, and I saw Dave Colwell looking for an opponent for for Lee Appleyard. You know, I, I, I'd seen Lee. I know all the local fighters at that kind of level, um, and I just believed it was a fight Adam could win. You know, mm -hmm. young lads get very nervous about the debuts. It's a big experience for for any fighter, let alone a, a young lad. So I just had a little think about it for a couple of hours, and uh, you know, I, I believe in Adam. I know his ability. I thought he's not got all week. To, um, to to think about it and to, to, to play on his nerves. He's not got a own around selling tickets, which is, is difficult for all fighters coming yeah. up now. Uh, and I knew he could win. I was convinced of it. So I phoned Adam up. And this is what I like about Adam. I like his attitude. You know, uh, uh, I phoned him up. I said, Adam, there's a possibility of, of a fight tonight. Uh, he just said, do you think it's a fight I can win? I said, Adam, do you trust me? So he said, yeah. I said, I know you can win this fight. He didn't even ask me who it was against. I said, I'll pick you up in an hour. Picked him up, we flew down and turned him over. So it was an, uh, a nice little story, really, and uh, a great win for Adam. Uh, I think it shows the, the kind of fighter he is, mm. the ability he's got. Uh, I loved his attitude, and, and since that win, his confidence has, has gone through the roof, and confidence is such well, a good thing You're almost fighting now, aren't you? That's what I mean, yeah. It was, well, Matt said it was a good opportunity, so I couldn't couldn't miss out on it really so it's, it got me started it was a good opportunity that. and well yeah. taken and then a week later I boxed Jason Nesbitt and I stopped him so not many mm. people stopped him no and then so, Fons Alexander that, after that wasn't it that was like a learning fight that was a tough fight that mm. towards the end but my, fight, my last fight I was a lot fitter so it was a lot better he was a good kid as well though he had 18 wins on his record didn't he but he was a, yeah, a winning kills. record yeah he's ranked, ranked quite high actually as well we well, so. see again you know like that's, that stands you in good stead, that, yeah. because to, to fight two guys in four fights with a winning record, you know, it's not normally done at that stage, you no, know, normally no. I'm, I'm talking to guys who've had seven, eight fights when they're stepping up to that level, and uh, to get that in the bag now must... It was quite feel... a negative fight, though, it didn't even come to fight, really, it was just one of them fights, wasn't it, Matt? Like any, any um, you know, fighters, um, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in, in, in making a strong start to a fight. Uh, and Adam caught the lad early on and uh, I think it was a testament to how good Adam is. He, yeah. I think after a minute of the fight, the, the kid's attitude had changed. He'd gone from going in there expecting to win, you know, he was strutting around the venue, eyeballing Adam before mm -hmm. the fight. So he fancied it, Didn't but after a minute he, um, he, he, he knew he, he, he didn't have a chance of winning the fight and uh, he was very negative. Um, so, but it's just getting the right fights for Adam. You know, he's coming on all the time. He's improving. He's working hard. Well, he's applying he's himself. Right. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a fantastic months. talent. He's a fantastic talent, in, in my opinion. Uh, one of the best local talents out there. So, you should keep an eye on this young man. And you from where he's from? Had yeah, it's from ten minutes away. It's not far, is it, Matt? No, Adam's from um, just before Glossop. Yeah, mm -hmm. Adam's from Tin Twistling Glossop, so not not far from me uh, at all. Right, well listen, I'll be chatting to you, hopefully yeah. I'll be chatting to you, 5 and 0. Thank, thanks a lot for the interview. No problem mate, yeah, take yeah, care. Matthew, see you later mate. Cheers, Cheers. Bye bye. Cheers.